Hey, Mel. How are we doing, everyone? Good. All right. I saw the letter. Thank you. Yeah. Good. I uh, I forwarded that over to um, uh, the superintendent uh, in Hopkinton. Good. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Right, right. Well, I think he's he's happy to know that uh, that his his representatives are responsive to uh, to what they hear at Rotary meetings. <laughs> I also talked to the school, the Concord uh, superintendent today about money. So. Okay, great. That's um, uh, Kathleen Murphy? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're a few minutes after four. I see we've got, we've got a few people that have, uh, that have jumped on. So, um, um, you know, we don't need a quorum for, uh, for this type of stuff um, uh, because we're not taking any votes on, on anything. Uh, what do you think? Should we fire it up? Bruce? Bruce, Bruce. isn't frozen because his eyes are blinking. <laughs> Bruce, is, is, <laughs> Bruce is navigating his audio, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we, may, we may see a phone number call in here in a minute, which okay. will also let's, be. Let's, let's, let's wait a moment for that then. Oh, wait, it says connecting the audio right now. really nice out today. Oh, Gorgeous. Beautiful. We should be out hiking today. You know, <laughs> I'm, that's what I'm going to do as soon as, uh, <laughs> as soon as we're up here. I'm going to try to scoot out of here too and see if I can absorb some of the sunlight. And yeah. it was nice having that very soaking rain yesterday too. That was uh, oh, it was perfect. With, with more coming, I hope this week. So that'll be yeah. good. Yeah, we definitely need it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had uh, the water director, Tom uh, O'Donovan, out of DES this morning. We had a, uh, we do a copy and conversation series once a month through Carsey. And he was saying, you know, there are parts of the state where we're, I mean, basically like we need 11 inches into the ground to get just back to, you know, average. Um, so it's really, the drought's pretty severe. What did we get yesterday? About two? Yeah. That's, we, yeah. So. that's, that's a but, good rain. And it was perfect, too. Oh, it was. We, we had a couple batches where it was hard for 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. But it was this nice soaking, you know, rain, drizzle rain. Um, uh, so, I, I, you know, I, I think that really got absorbed um, well. So. Yeah. Well now, now with the ground relatively wet the next rain that comes there'll be less runoff and it'll it'll go in a little easier you won't have yeah. all that that beating up on the surface that you have yeah. when the ground's so hard so oh it's like cement yeah yeah it, 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 yeah um bruce can you are you still i'm on audio now i'm on my phone audio I'm okay my all right okay we can audio died. so you've got audio so why don't we um uh, why don't we get this going? I see we've got a couple of uh, attendees here, right. but uh, uh, oh, Mel, you're all set. So, uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to uh, to our um, uh, our now I think twice monthly um, um, extended public comment um, session, and um, I think as everybody knows, we do we do open up um, our uh, regular commission meetings for public comment at the end of the meeting. Uh, you know, usually we're running a little bit late, and it's been a long time, so this gives uh, I think a little bit uh, better opportunity for um, for for people to um, to share their ideas and thoughts with uh, with members of the commission. Um, the uh, the Carsey School, uh, the, well, the commission works with the Carsey School. And uh, the comments are collected and um, and sent to all the uh, 
the commission members, as well as uh, uh, documented um, and uh, uh, available for public view on the commission website. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. We've got, uh, in addition to uh, public comment, uh, we do. The commission does have a, a substantial public engagement process, also managed through the Par Carsey School and New Hampshire Listens. And uh, you can follow this during live or recorded meetings available through the commission website. And uh, you can also leave uh, comments and ask questions uh, through the commission website too, um, or by, uh, by email, uh, which can also be, uh, be sent through the, the commission website. And uh, just for um, make sure everybody has it, the commission website is carsey, C-A-R-S-E-Y dot U-N-H dot E-D-U slash school dash funding and uh, to email the commission um, you would uh, you would send email to school funding all one word dot commission at unh.edu um, so um, I guess before we uh, open up the floor again this is public comment not uh, not Q and a and the reason for that is because what's important to uh, members of the public is really important for uh, the commission to hear and um, uh, with that, I'll just sort of check with Jordan. Are there any um, uh, tech issues um, uh, that um, uh, that have been reported on this? No, we're uh, we're looking all good on the tech side, as far as I can see. Okay, great. I guess we'll do uh, a real quick uh, roll call just to make it an official meeting. Luno from Hopkinton, Myler, uh, Myler from Port Clyde, Maine, and Ames. Dick, you're muted. I'm, work, I'm working on it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm here in Jeffrey in my home office and I'm alone. Great. And Zanchuk? Uh, I'm in my work office in Jeffrey. And Carrie Portry? I'm in my apartment in Dover, home alone. And Jordan Hensley? Jordan Hensley here in Dover as well. Uh, my fiance is also here. All right. And Bruce Mallory? Well, Bruce's Bruce's audio is uh, was was muted there for a moment, but but he's here. Um, so, um, uh, Jordan, you wanna you wanna handle the um, uh, the door? So, anybody that would like to um, to uh, um, uh, let us know what uh, what's on your mind, please um, either raise your hand, uh, and um, and Jordan can let you in. And if not, we'll uh, we'll wait a few minutes uh, to uh, to see who might uh, might drop by. But uh, it is a beautiful afternoon, so so I know uh, uh, Carrie's um, uh, really got in mind getting outdoors. So we can um, um, any uh, any. Uh, Members of the commission want to sort of lay out any thoughts or? Uh, you don't have to, we got commission no. meetings, save it for that. <laughs> we got, we got, we got a bunch of meetings coming up next week. Monday at, at one, one to four thirty. So three and a half hours. You need to make sure David, you have a break in there sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be working. I, I'm, I can now, you can hear my audio. I'm going through my phone. Um, I'll be working on the agenda for Monday's meeting. Uh, tomorrow, I'll get a draft out to Dave, Jay, and Mel. Uh, and we'll absolutely include a break in the middle of that three and a half hours as we did before. Good. Good. Thanks, Bruce. Uh, lot, lots, to, uh, lots, to, lots to take a look at um, and um, remind ourselves of the key decisions we've made so far, at least provisional decisions. Uh, and then hear from each of the work groups, uh, and uh, we'll have some questions teed up, some specific decision-making questions teed up for uh, the meeting on Monday uh, about the cost model. Um, you all may have that as well from fiscal policy. Just again, these kinds of decisions at this point that will help us keep moving forward in terms of refining our potential uh, findings and recommendations. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I should, and I uh, Jordan, Jordan and I just uh, finished reviewing a revised uh, commission calendar for 
the rest of October and November, and we'll get that out to the full commission in the next uh, day or so and uh, post it publicly. Uh, it reflects obviously an accelerated and, and intense uh, schedule in order for us to complete our business by mm -hmm. the end of November. Great, great. Yeah, yeah, uh, Dick. Yeah, just to uh, mention a, uh, what is it, a forum, I guess, that I passed on to you, Dave, regarding the property tax. And uh, it sounds very interesting and could be helpful. It uh, is an in depth probe into, uh, oh, land use and tax, tax policy and effects of uh, property taxation in quite a number of communities in. Uh, New Hampshire, that a group has done. I don't have the name at the tip of my tongue. Okay, but, um, great. Yeah, I, I saw that this morning. So, so thanks, Dick. Um, yeah, New, New Hampshire, Hampshire Housing. Was that? Oh, it's New Hampshire Housing. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I was, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I see a hand up from Paul. Yep, we just got a hand up. So, Paul, I'm about to bring you in here. Paul, welcome. Welcome, Paul. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Uh, by way of introduction, uh, my name is Paul Deshane. Uh, I am uh, a project manager with the town of Newington. I only started about, uh, well, October uh, 10th, uh, so um, less than two weeks uh, into this. And one of the assignments I have has been to uh, monitor the commission's uh, activities and, and perhaps provide comment on that. Um, Further background, I am the retired uh, town administrator from the town of Stratum uh, for over 30 years. Uh, so I lived this <laughs> once before mm -hmm. uh, and uh, appreciate uh, this commission's revisiting of the issues that are involved in school funding and uh, uh, the other related matters. Um, again, my newness to the, to the, the current conditions uh, commission's um, activity uh, don't permit me to elaborate much, but one observation I do wish to make on behalf of the town of Newington has been uh, so far the lack of addressing uh, the actual source of funding. I've seen a lot of effort and a lot of activities uh, uh, identifying what the costs are, what makes up an adequate education, what uh, the state's responsibilities were. And I, I think it was Mr. Van Chuck's, uh, Chuck's uh, comments in the pre-meeting uh, discussion that uh, there is an orientation of those sources uh, in the existing legislation or statutory construct uh, to seek solely property tax um, funding uh, uh, amongst others, but uh, that's one of the primary sources. And that, uh, of course, concerns towns like Newington, who in the past have been looked to as quote unquote donor towns uh, and uh, other type of inequities that occur. And uh, I would hope the commission um, doesn't leave to the last minute uh, to address uh, the source uh, of the uh, funding that, that is being identified. Uh, and, uh, and have a dialogue with communities about that, uh, because obviously that was a very contentious part uh, of the initial uh, school funding Claremont um, adjudications that occurred uh, and subsequently a after that. So that's my general observation at the moment. As I said, I, I, I applaud the commission's uh, efforts to date and uh, a lot of uh, good work and, and discussions. And, and I uh, think all of you have, uh, given a uh, due consideration for the matters that you have considered, uh, but this is one of the places so far that I've seen a little lacking. Uh, and if there's the, if I'm mistaken, it's because I haven't seen <laughs> the document as of yet. Uh, I'm still wading through the AIR uh, report and, and uh, many other uh, documents uh, that are on the website. Very, very well uh, done, by the way, and communicating and sharing uh, those type of uh, materials. Uh, uh, it's uh, a lot to go through and uh, I applaud your efforts uh, uh, to have uh, shared them. Great. Well, thank you very much for your comments, Paul. Um, yeah, I know we've, we've, had, uh, we've had a lot of meetings since, uh, since the beginning of January and uh, 
And I know there's been at least two full meetings, and I forgot now if they were work group meetings or full commission meetings, maybe one of each on uh, state property tax, plus a full pr presentation, I think, to the full commission um, uh, uh, by uh, uh, Fred Bramante, also on state property tax. And, uh, and then we've also had, I think, a, mm -hmm. uh, an in-depth meeting with the Lincoln Institute um, out of um, Cambridge. Is it Cambridge? Yeah, that's right. On, um, on, um, on, on property tax. So there's been, there's been substantial dialogue uh, on that. And um, perhaps, Paul, we can, um, uh, uh, we, we can probably, um, I don't know if we can uh, send, email Paul the, 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 um, the dates of those meetings because all of the, all that, uh, the recordings for those, the video and the minutes for those meetings are all available online. If that would be helpful to you, Paul. It certainly helped me target. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because with with all the meetings, I, I I don't know how well they're indexed um, on there. So um, uh, yeah, we have them indexed by date more than uh, yeah more than topic. Although uh, if you go to the resource pages, we do have a a section uh, of resources devoted totally to property taxes. Uh, there's also a, a state level uh, resource section. Uh, but, you know, Focusing on a lot of different states, uh, and, and you know, and some of the ways that states have tackled school funding, but in particular, the New Hampshire section uh, does look at some different different tax issues. But uh, if you'd like to, Paul, if you email the the commission uh, at schoolfunding.commission at unh.edu, we can. Uh, we'd, I'd be I'd be happy to find those dates and send them over. So 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 Jordan, just to just seeing uh, like not trying to pile more work on on an already overworked and overburdened group here. But, but um, maybe, maybe there's a do-it-yourself way of, of, do, of doing this. Um, if, if, if Paul were to look at the calendar um, that's on the website, would, would that have subjects that were talked about? No, uh, it's 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 right. just going to have the the dates. It'll have it'll tell you what the what type of meeting it was. You know, if it was fiscal policy or adequacy. Yeah. I mean, you could you could easily look through the the dates and see when fiscal policy meetings were, which is when we discussed uh, tax policies. And those, if you go to the specific dates, there are documents, you know, and notes that outline specifically what happened. But um, right, but that's that's having to peck around in 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 each of those. Um, in each of those things, so so the calendar doesn't doesn't have sort of like, you know, the the two or three. I mean, most meetings we talk about one, two, or three things, and um, so the calendar doesn't have those enumerated. Um, all right, so um, so Paul, right. yeah, Paul, we'll try to get you something if you can email um, email the commission. So thank you. All right, I'll put a couple in the chat to everybody just as we're going here. Yeah, usually I can, as I drill down by agenda um, and uh, congregate around certain work groups uh, to identify uh, stuff. It, it, uh, my, my work so far has not been a dearth of, of not finding information. It's been trying to discern what information I should focus on first. Right, right. So, yeah, so, so we'll, 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 we'll see if we can help you with that navigation. Thank you. All right, great. Thanks, Paul. Um, I will share, I was also very uh, interested in the dialogue yesterday with the representative from Massachusetts and uh, their approach and uh, how they determine foundation and what the state's uh, uh, portion of that foundation aid uh, was to contribute, which was a different kind of dialogue than what we've had in New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it, that was good. Thanks for, uh, thanks for, um, for, for being online and, and listening to that. So that was, was very good. Great. Um, thank you very much, Paul. I think we've got another hand up. That we do. Let me bring Doug in. Doug, welcome. Good afternoon, thanks. Doug. Uh, thanks. I, I just want to be here for 30 seconds. I'm on another Zoom. Uh, <laughs> it started at 4 o'clock also. And so I submitted my public comment to Bruce and Dave to you and uh, by email and I just wanted to make sure you got it and I'm headed out to the other meeting.
thank you all for all the time you're putting into this. No, thank, thank you, Doug. Um, I'll check real quick. The, the most important, we're, 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 uh, the most important thing is- I see it, I see it, yeah. Okay, the most important thing there is the problem with the middle school counts. That's still there. Some districts get fifth graders counted with an extra $8,000 and then sixth, seventh, and eighth because they have a separate middle school, some with fifth grade, some without. Those where the sixth, seventh, and eighth graders are in a K to eight school get zero extra dollars. And that's a huge difference when you add that up over the number of, of um, sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. And it's because they didn't use the right data. The actual enrollment by grade for every district is available for every year going back decades. And it's really important that that be fixed or you're gonna end up with the, the districts that suddenly see themselves not getting what other districts get in terms of estimated cost up in arms. I, I just leave it at that. Okay, great, Doug, thanks. thanks. All right. Hello, Senator Kahn. So, uh, Jay, just to uh, just to catch up here, we've had a um, um, couple people um, uh, uh, speak uh, in public comment. Um, uh, Paul DeShane from Newington and uh, Doug Hall just now. I'll have to catch the recording. Thank you, Burton. <laughs> So, and um, I'm not seeing uh, any other hands up right now, but it's good we got, uh, we got some comment in here. So we can uh, wait for another uh, minute or two, see if, um, Jay, thank, I, I mentioned it to Mel, thank you for, um, for um, uh, writing that letter regarding uh, CARES funds for schools, so. Right, right. Well, well, we'll watch the outcome. It's not the, la not the first and not the last letter, I guess. Right, right. But, but pretty significant, though, to see what, um, what neighboring states are doing. Yeah, I, I, you know, did the homework. I looked at uh, Vermont's Act uh, 80, I think it was, and uh, and yeah, it is interesting that uh, in talking with the commissioner today, uh, we actually did, and uh, and uh, he mentioned uh, Maine. I, I went back, Mel, to to look, and I, sure I enough, that. there was 165 million before the 164. So yeah. I, they they really kicked in. Uh, be interesting how they fund small schools. You know what? What kind of? Because they've they've got to have a lot of them. I was actually surprised when I looked at the enrollment: eighty-seven thousand students in uh, in Vermont. Uh, that was a couple of years ago, and uh, boy, they have a lot of schools. <laughs> they add up the enrollments. I mean, districts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they may have consolidated them in, into counties, but I think I, I think I was down to line two hundred fifty-six by the time I put a total on it. I think they tried to do a consolidation thing there a couple of years ago and did not yeah. work well. Just the same as they tried to do that in Maine about uh, probably about six, right. seven years ago too. That just didn't work out very well. Yeah, Rick's mentioned it a couple of times. Yeah. Sorry for the Halloween effect here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I it's festive. Turn, I can turn on a light. <laughs> Just needed like a pumpkin in the background. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Well, hey, you know, we're coming up on 430 and I'm not seeing any more hands up. Um, so um, I'm, I'm sort of thinking we, uh, we call it a day. All right. Jordan, Pretty nice outside. We'll be able yeah. to catch this on the on the Carsey site. Yeah, yeah should uh, get it up tonight sometime.
on Carsey TV. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, All everybody right. enjoy the evening. Thanks again to our guests. And, um, <laughs> and we got a busy week next week, so get a lot of rest between now and then. Thanks, guys. All righty. Thanks, Take care. Have a great evening. <laughs>